Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at this USB load. You must have seen many different types of USB tester that doesn't have a load and you have to connect the extra load to measure the uh, current and voltages. And this particular one combines both a USB load as well as a LCD screen so that you can measure your USB cable or your charger. So here is the uh, USB load tester. You can see I've got two knobs. This knob controls the current value. This is a course adjustment so you can increase the current in larger values. After that you've got your right adjustment which is a very fine current adjustment. With this you can increase the current in very small values. Uh, there is this small fan which keeps the uh, uh, load cool when it is running. Here is a small LCD screen which tells you how much voltage you're getting and how much current is being consumed. Here is a small LED which glows when the unit is working. At the back you can see it is covered with this plexiglass or acrylic. Uh, on side you've got different types of inputs. If you can see on the very left you've got your mini USB input. Then you've got your type C input. Then you've got your micro USB input. Then you've got your iPhone input and not only that you can also power this unit separately using a different power supply and you will plug that in here here is your usb a type input and here is your usb a type uh, output so i've also ordered a small trigger with this and this is the trigger this is the qualcomm 2.0 and 3.0 trigger so if you don't have a qualcomm 2.0 or 3.0 compatible phone you can use this trigger to trigger different voltages and you can test your charger that way. So this trigger will basically trigger Qualcomm 2.0 out uh, voltages and you will be able to check whether your charger is capable of delivering uh, Qualcomm 2.0 voltages or not. I've got this original Motorola charger and this supports turbo charging and if you look closely you can see that we've got standard output which is rated at 1.6 amperes we've got turbo 1 output which is rated at 1.6 amperes and then we've got our turbo 2 output which is rated at uh, 1.2 amperes so we are going to test that using our trigger uh, let me just connect this to a power supply and then okay so let's connect the power supply to uh, our extension Let's turn it on. Let's just plug in our USB meter so that we can see. It says welcome. And now it is displaying the voltage that we are getting and also the current at the bottom. So on top you can see we are getting about 5.05 volt and a current of 0.09 amperes. On the bottom you can see the amount of time that it is on. On here you can see the watt how much watts we are consuming and on middle you can see that how many milliamperes we have consumed and on the bottom you can see how many watt hours we are consumed so there is only one button which you can use to change from different menus if you press this button you can get dip into different modes on this mode you can see on top we are displaying the uh, negative negative wire of, of the negative connection you got your data positive line your data negative line and your v positive which is your basically 5 volt output on here you can also you're also seeing this resistance i don't know what this resistance corresponds to you're also seeing this temperature i guess i don't know if it is the ambient temperature or the temperature of the unit itself here is the time again and here is the amount of current that we are consuming if you press the button again you get a different uh, uh, mode and on top you can see the voltage bottom you can see the capacity in milliamp hour underneath you can see the energy in watt hour and under that you can see the time and again on the right side you can see the temperature and on top you can see the current 0 0.07 amp so this is the main screen that i like to use all the time to clear all these values you can store uh, this accumulates all the stored values over time but you can clear them by long pressing the button 
and you will hear a beep after that you can see that all the values are turned to zero and now this will start accumulating how many amperes uh, you will consume over time and this will uh, start capturing how many watt hours you will consume over time so you can basically test capacity of your power banks as well as your charger capabilities let's increase the so we've just seen that the motorola charger is capable of delivering 1.6 amperes at 5 volt so we are at 5 volt standard charging method and let's i'm going to use the course adjustment to increase the current to 1.6 6 amperes and let's see whether this Motorola charger is capable of delivering 1.6 amperes still getting 5 volts 1.4 1.5 1.6 1.7 1 and as we go above 1.6 the charger stops working so the, the charge uh, so the charger is definitely capable of delivering 1.6 amperes at uh, 5 volt now to test the uh, Qualcomm 2.0 capability or basically the fast charging capability of this Motorola turbo charger I'm going to connect my USB load sorry the USB trigger which is here and if I try to zoom in you can see that on top I've got two LEDs you can see that it says Qualcomm 2.0 and QC 3.0 so the top LED corresponds to the 2.0 and the bottom LED corresponds to the 3.0 and on the right you can see four different LEDs which tells me at what voltage I am. So uh, we can trigger 4 to 6 volt, we can trigger 7 to 10 volt, we can trigger 11 to 14 volts and we can also trigger 15 to 20 volt. On bottom you can see there are three buttons. The leftmost button is for changing between Qualcomm 2.0 and 3.0 and the middle button is for decreasing the voltage. The, uh, the rightmost button is for increasing the voltage. So let me just connect this to our Motorola charger and then we will see whether this charger is able to give us the is capable of delivering Qualcomm 2.0 speed or not. So the charger is definitely connected. And as you can see we are at standard let me change it to the Qualcomm 2.0 so we are at Qualcomm 0 now you can see the top LED is glowing and now I'm going to use the rightmost button to change from standard charging to 6 volt so we are currently at 11.7 volt let me decrease the voltage so we are at 5 volt and at 5 volt in Qualcomm 2.0 we should be able to get about 1.6 amperes of current so let's increase it to 1 1.6 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.5 1.6 and as we go above 1.7 the charger stops working so the charger is definitely capable of delivering 1.6 amperes at 5 volt in Qualcomm 2.0 technology. Now the next voltage is uh, uh, 6 volt and let's see in 6 volt uh, this should be able to give us 1.6 ampere as well. So I'm going to use the rightmost button to trigger the 6 volt output. So let me press it again. We are on middle LED and you can see we are now triggering sorry uh, 9 volt output. At 9 volt output we should be able to get uh, 1.6 ampere as well so 1.4 1.5 and as we go above 1.7 we again lose power so the charger is definitely capable of delivering 1.6 amperes at 9 volt there we go now let's trigger the 12 volt output and to do that I'm again going to press the right button and now we're at 12 volt setting let's decrease the current a little bit and go we should be at 12 volt now fair enough 11.7 almost 12 volt now and now increase the current and we should be able to get about 1.2 amperes as the motorola turbo charger specification says so 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 1 And we restarted there so there we go so we are able to get 
amperes at 12 volts from this charger so the charger definitely works as written on its specification and that's how you, you use a, a usb load tester to test your uh, power supply as well as your uh, power banks you can also use this charger to test the quality of wires and let now as i've just told you that this charger comes with various different inputs so you're not uh, bound to use usb uh, input devices you can use multiple inputs as i've just uh, shown you uh, as you can see we've got our mini usb we've got our type c we've got our micro usb we've got our iphone input and here on the top right on the very right you can see that we've got input to power the unit uh, individually we also get this uh, two wire connector so that if we want to measure the output of different power supply we can do that by connecting the wires from that to this green connector uh, the one plus point of this uh, unit is that you can also measure the quality of wires i've got here the original motorola one meter long cable as you can see the motorola symbol on there and i've also got the a third party cheap IU uh, micro usb cable and we will see how much voltage we are able to get uh, using the uh, cheap cable so all i have to do let's measure the original motorola cable so i'm plugging it in and then i'm going to plug this in to the micro usb input of my unit and here is my micro usb input let me just connect that mm, there we go finally connected and let me just turn it on so you can see we've just turned on and it again starts displaying the voltage and the current and let's increase the current to maybe uh, one amperes let's say 1.5 amperes there we go so at 1.5 amperes we are getting a voltage of 5.04 we're getting a voltage of 5.04 or 03 at 1.5 4 amperes and this is the using the motorola original cable let's replace the cable with the cheap cable and let's see if we are able to get the same output so at at 1.4 amperes we are getting 5.03 volt so let's replace the cable using the cheap one Connecting the cheap cable in, reconnecting the cheap cable, again we turned on, let's take this back to 1.4 and as you can see already that the cheap cable is already reducing the voltage, we are not even at 1 ampere mark and that's how you can measure the quality of cables so the motorola original cable is definitely much better cable uh, than using this cheap uh, micro usb cable and there you go that's how you measure the resistance or the quality of your cables using this usb load tester this usb load tester is capable of measuring up to load of 35 watts and this is very versatile so there we go this was my video on the 35 watt usb load tester i hope you found this video helpful and learn something i want to thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video also i forgot to mention about this manual that they give you there is not much to this manual all this is all this talk about is uh, some of the information that you can do with the single button but i couldn't find anything helpful uh, in this manual uh, one thing maybe i forgot to mention that it can measure a current of 0.10 amp to 4.50 amp yeah there we go so there we go that's how you measure the uh, usb uh, power uh, chargers or power banks i hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye